So one of the reasons I'm here in Evergreen Cemetery in Medway, Massachusetts today is to try and find a gravestone for somebody who uh, was looking for a photograph on findagrave.com. What I did was I, I uh, took an old transcription of the cemetery and I typed it up into Excel and I'm going to show you a printed out. What I did was I printed out um, a little section of that database. So the, the person that we're looking for is Timothy Ellis who died in 1798. So I don't know where this guy's buried. So what I did was I took the transcription which was done in order of visitation. It's not alphabetical. So what I can do is assume that most of the names surrounding um, Timothy Ellis are actually in the vicinity of his gravestone. So if I can find the other graves, then maybe I can locate his grave. And that's what I'm hoping. I don't know, you know, sometimes gravestones are buried or lost or removed, whatever. So I might not be able to find the gravestone. So what I did is I went into my database and I found the gravestones that I have photographs for. So David Thurston, Zebulon Bishop, and James Howard, I all had photographs for them. These other people in the proximity of Timothy Ellis, I do not have gravestones uh, photographs for. So that was a little bit of a challenge for me too. Um, that tells me, wow, those ones need to be photographed. So if I can find Timothy Ellis, maybe I can find some of these and I can um, complete my database a little bit more. So I'm on the hunt right now to find either David Thurston, Zebulon Bishop, or James Howard. And you can see there that I noted uh, from my photograph, I can tell that David Thurston's gravestone is right next to a tree. That's going to help me find the gravestone uh, because the other photographs were just of the stones themselves and there weren't any landmarks to really help me figure out where they were located, which is my bad. Uh, I have to work on that part of my database of being able to pinpoint the exact locations. Uh, but anyways, this is so this is what I'm doing right now. I'm thir searching for David Thurston. Zebulon Bishop and James Howard and see if I can find them and then hope that'll lead me to these other people in the sheet. So I've managed to find the gravestone of David Thurston. It's covered with lichen right now compared to the last time I photographed it. Uh, but you can see at the bottom it does say 1761 and you, you can see the Thurston there. And the detail at the top is the detail in the photograph I have minus all the lichen growth and it is next to a tree. So we've got the winter building right there. Of course, I need this for myself so I can find this again. So this is right uh, at the top in the old section. The challenge for me now is I need to find, who are these other people? James Howard and Zebulon Bishop. They should be in this area. And unfortunately, this transcription is just not panning out for me as well as I had hoped. So I'm kind of walking the wrong way now because I need to, so this is Harding, a couple Harding gravestones right there. I'm gonna just, so over there, right next to the tree, those are the two Thurstons. So one of the problems I have here is that you notice that those two gravestones are kind of in a row by themselves, which kind of worries me a little bit. The next nearest gravestone is way down there. And if we go back and look the other direction, I've got the same problem. Now I did find uh, right there, well, right there behind, we've got some Shumway graves, and over there we've got some man graves. And of course, those are not the ones on my transcription. So that kind of stinks. All right, so let's see what we got here. Deacon Thomas Sanford, Sarah Adams. Still not on my list. Bummer. Thomas Adams. Oh, this is a great one. Check out this detail on the stone. Thomas Adams. Died in 1773. Henry Guernsey. And Ephraim Hill. All right, so none of these people match what I'm looking for. Well, so, so far I am stumped. I was able to find the gravestone of David Thurston over here, these two little gravestones in front of this tree. 
and they're on my list, <laughs> but I haven't been able to find anything else on my list. So here are the Thurston's right here, where they should be. <laughs> Thank you for not moving. But I'm, oh, I'm feeling really challenged today because I, I just searched all of these gravestones here, all of them, and none of them belong to anyone on my list. And as I showed you before, I got a big space here around the Thurston's, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, we got, well, we do have an Amos Adams here. Oh, that could be one of them. And Susanna Adams. I don't have Susanna on my list. Oh, another, another nice one. Check out that detail. Um, let's see here. This Amos Adams. Well, I don't have a date. Let's see. This says in his... Oh, well, this should be that because this says in the 14th year of his age. So this should be my guy. Maybe I just can't see where it says October. I'll have to take a picture of that and check it on the computer later. All right, so this is... Amos Adams, who is listed as two graves away from David Thurston, who's over here. So <laughs> I am sure when the person who did this transcription came here, these other graves were here, and I don't know why they aren't listed. That's a little bit. Olive Shunway, wife of Thomas Adams. That one I can't really read, unfortunately. All right, so that's helpful. We, we found, at least we found Moses. So I'll take a picture of that because it says I don't have a picture of that. So here we go. Okay, so I've had a little bit more luck, <laughs> even though it doesn't seem like there's any rhyme or reason to this, but I found Mary Wiswell, who is listed as right next to um, Timothy Ellis, who's my target. And this is her gravestone. She died in 1821. She's got a pretty big gravestone. So. She is way over here. We're just going to look back. There's the tree and the little gravestone right next to the tree to the left. That's our David Thurston. So, they're only supposed to be six gravestones away. <laughs> and you, So you can see, I'm not sure how the transcriber uh, <laughs> meandered through the cemetery, but here is Mary. At least we've managed to find her and capture her, so now we can include her in the catalog. Okay, I'm having a little bit more luck. There was Mary Wiswell right there. And next to her is supposed to be Timothy Ellis. And then Ede, which is maybe Eden Richardson. And then one that I had already photographed was Zebulon Bishop. And I found him. He is here. Right there. So, that's great to know. At least Zebulon Bishop is now accounted for. So, I've managed to find three of the gravestones on my list. I'm going to admit defeat pretty soon for today. There's Mary Wiswell, and over there, that little one in the second row, first one, second row, that's Zebulon Bishop. All these ones right here, right in front of me, those are all Haywards. So, not um, helping me. There's still James Howard. I know I photographed his uh, gravestone, so I'll just walk around here a little bit more and see if I can locate James Howard. And, uh, and if not, I'm gonna, oh, hey, hey, who's this right here? Ede, here we go. She's on my list, Ede Richardson. And look, her name is Ede, it's not Eden. What, how strange is that? Okay, so that's good. Oh, hey, who do we have here? Mr. Timothy Ellis, woohoo, there's my target right there, wow. And he is next to Ede. Richardson, as mentioned on the transcript. Woohoo! We found, we found it. <laughs> it was a bit of work, but we found it. The gravestone's broken, but let's just make sure we can find it again. So there is our little winter building over there. Some trees here, and there is Timothy Ellis, our find a grave target, um, and he's right next to Ede Richardson, wife of Amos Richardson. How about that? And I'm just gonna, it looks like a strange bit of lichen on these ones, but Phoebe Richardson and Amos Richardson right next door. And those are gonna be helpful to find. All right, we're gonna just pan the other way so that we know where we are in relation to the street. 
and the beginning of the cemetery and my car. All right, a mission accomplished for today. That was a heck of a lot of work, but I'm glad that there's one person out there who will have another uh, photo of their ancestor's grave. So there's at least that's not, <laughs> not going to be probably very satisfying for him. Uh, seeing that it's kind of it's it's actually buried it's broken and buried in the ground there's quite a bit there uh buried it was too heavy i tried to move it a little bit but there's quite a bit buried so that's it onward to the rest of the day <laughs>